your Kitchener Centre. Mr. Speaker, it needs to be said there's no such thing as a credible climate plan that doesn't include phasing out oil and gas while supporting affected workers. At COP27, the federal government claimed that the last minute to support text to phase down unabated fossil fuels, yet back home, it approved new oil exploration permits off the coast of Newfoundland. Is this government ready to talk seriously about equitably phasing out fossil fuels, or are they going to continue to protect the profits of their friends in the oil and gas uh, uh, industry? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Certainly, this government is entirely committed to the fight against climate change. It has been something that we have been working on for the past seven years. We have done so with our allies around the world, in Europe, in Japan, in South Korea, and with countries uh, across, across the globe. It is a critically important issue. It is something that we actually have invested enormous amounts of time, energy, and resources in doing. Canada has one of the most detailed climate plans in the world. We have an aggressive target. We are absolutely fundamentally committed to doing so, but doing so in a manner that recognizes this is a transition, recognizes that we actually have to ensure prosperity and jobs for future generations, and we are doing just that.